I really got involved in co-ops through the women's movement in the early 1970s and was working with a group of women to start the Vancouver Women's Health Collective. The Health Collective was a very, very exciting experience. And although it wasn't a formal cooperative, it had all of the elements of a, of a co-op. And I do feel proud of being involved in a, an activity that is still there today. I was at its 40th anniversary, which is a little surprising, and talked about the things that have changed and the things that haven't changed. And um, in the 70s, a number of projects developed that I was involved in, the food co-op, uh, CCEC credit union. Um, I was involved in a housing co-op that a number of us um, lived in. We converted a, a communal house to a co-op and bought two houses next door. And another co-op came out of that called Plain Jane Construction, which I was in for some years. After that, I got more involved in teaching and working with other groups that were interested in starting cooperatives and being able to use my experience to help with that. I look around me and meet lots and lots of young people who are really interested in working in social change, cooperatives, social enterprise. I feel very excited and it's a worldwide movement. So it's only now that I'm involved in Common Thread that I am in the thick of it again and I love every minute of it. So one of the really innovative things about Common Thread is its linkage to a private sector company and to a nonprofit. So on the one hand, our nonprofit partner is the Kettle Society, and they provide lots of services in Vancouver for people who are living with mental illness and have an employment program. So we work with them and are able to access their expertise on how to best accommodate people who have varying um, capacities around working and how many hours at kind of stress level etc. We also partner on a training program called Up to Speed which is all about sewing and learning about industrial equipment and then becoming producers. Our for-profit partner, the Flag Shop, is equally instrumental in the success of Common Thread. We have industrial equipment there, we um, work in so many different ways with that organization. They send out uh, information about Common Thread to every one of their customers who buys banners, telling them about how they can come to Common Thread to get a second life by giving us the banners and we produce bags for them, for them to use as gift bags, etc. So it's a very important relationship. I, I was astonished to get this award. I knew I had been nominated by um, Doreen uh, through the flag shop and its work with Common Thread. So I was really surprised because my work is so in the grassroots element of the co-op movement and I do feel that everyone I've worked with and all the people out there who are doing work with people in their communities will be very pleased to see one of their peers be honored by the Canadian Cooperative Association. I feel very honored.